Hi guys, welcome back to my presentation continuing the brief introduction to Persia. In the first two parts of this presentation, we briefly introduce you to the long and flourishing history of Persia, in addition to the astonishing natural and architectural sightseeing of Iran. So, if you have not watched these sections, I encourage you to watch and enjoy. In the third part, we are going to get introduced to a few influential Persian people to the world. I'm sure you will be amazed when you know more about Persian people. Anyway, if you found this video interesting, you can like, subscribe and share to your friends. Please also provide your comments that will help us to improve our future videos according to your feedback. Alright, the last session of this introductory is about a few famous and influential people in Iran that you may have heard about. The most precious heritage of each nation is the improvement that they have had on the civilization of humans. Let's pick a few well-known Persian people to have a quick look at their achievements. Persian people have served to humankind for a long time due to their long history of civilization. Here I'm going to nominate only three people from categories of science, poetry and contemporary. Selection of the nominees was one of the biggest challenges of producing this introductory film for me because selection among the best is always difficult. Let's nominate three Persian scientific scholars that have great impact on the scientific progress of the humankind. Here we are going to nominate three great Persian scientists in chronological order. The first one is Muhammad ibn Musa al-Kharazmi Latinized as algorithmy. He has a great contribution to mathematics, astronomy, and geography. The science of algebra is because of his efforts in mathematics. He was the one who presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations. That's why he has been described as the father of algebra. His name gave rise to the famous term of algorithm al Khwarezmi algorithm. Translations of his textbook on arithmetic introduced the decimal position on number system to the Western world. He also made substantial contributions to trigonometry, such as producing accurate tables of sine and cosine, and of course, the first table of tangents. So, let's salute our true teacher of mathematics. The second one is Muhammad ibn Zakaria al-Razi, the polymus, physician, and philosopher of the 9th and 10th century. When you read the biography of this Persian scholar, you will be surprised whether a person can achieve as much as he had progressed the science. When we say Razi was a polymus, we mean that he had great contribution to various scientific fields of his era. He had over 200 manuscripts in various fields such as medicine, logic, astronomy, philosophy, and chemistry. If I just want to name his expertise in various fields, it takes several minutes. But to make the long history short, the Orientalists have described him as the doctor's doctor, the father of pediatrics and the pioneer of obstetrics and ophthalmology. He was a true polymus. The third one is Omar Khayyam, a great Persian mathematician, astronomer, philosopher, and poet. He is most notable for his work on the classification and solution of cubic equations, where he provided geometric solutions by the intersection of conics. In mathematics, he is famous for his contribution to the classification and solution of cubic equations and understanding of the parallel axiom. As an astronomer, he designed a very accurate solar calendar which is still in use in Iran. The first day of each year in this calendar is exactly at the beginning of the spring or Nowruz. Nowruz is usually around the 20th of March if you want to compare with your calendar. Khayyam is also famous for his poetry with the quatrains style. 
Quatrains are a type of Persian poetry that the poet tries to express his point of view or advice in four short and harmonic lines. His poems became familiar to English readers and westward after the translation of his book by Edward Fitzgerald in 1859. Therefore, if you are interested in poetry, like me, I suggest you read the book of Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. Poetry is very popular in Iran and many call Iran the country of poets. That's why I've assigned a separate part for the introduction of great Persian poets. So let's nominate three great Persian poets that have great impact on the literature and well human beings. Again, I'm going to introduce three great poets chronologically. The first one is Abul Qasim Ferdowsi Tusi. When we talk about Persian literature, naming Ferdowsi as one of the most influential poets is inevitable. The reason is in his efforts for writing his greatest work, Shahnameh, which means the Book of Kings, which is one of the world's longest epic poems created by a single poet. It is strange, but his efforts have led to survival of the Persian language and cultural tradition after the Arab invasion of Iran. As you know, many regions in Middle East talk Arabic due to Arab invasion, but Iran and some other countries like Afghanistan and Tajikistan kept their language as Farsi because of the efforts of the poets like Ferdowsi. Many people call him the father of the modern Persian language. It's a great job to survive a language which is still in common use after 1000 years. The next one is Jalal ad-Din Muhammad Rumi, the poet of the 13th century. His book, known as Masnavi Ma'navi, is his most famous work. Masnavi is a style of Persian poetry that is usually used for long poetries, and Masnavi means a spiritual. This is a six volume poem coming from the rich tradition of Persian Sufi literature. Many commentators call this work as the Quran in Persian and have expressed it as the greatest mystical poem in the world literature. You may believe this if you would know that Rumi is the best-selling poet in the United States, which is not a Persian language country. In my opinion, Khawja Shamsuddin Muhammad Hafez Shirazi is the poet who has stood on the shoulders of his former giant poets. Persian people love his poets such that you can find a book of his poems in their houses. Many people try to learn his poems by heart and use them as proverbs and sayings. His poems are so mystical that even some people use his poems for divination and fortune telling by randomly opening the Divana Hafiz, which is a collection of his poems. This also has become a part of Persian culture in some ceremonies, like in the longest night of the year, Shab-i Yalda. Themes of his poems are love, faith, and living advice. Although his poems have translated into many languages, someone who knows the Farsi language and who is familiar with the Persian culture can take the most joy of his masterpiece poems. Now, let's get introduced to three of Persian contemporary scholars. The first one is Professor Majid Sami'i, a distinguished neurosurgeon and medical scientist who has been the president of the International Society of Neurosurgery and the president of the Congress of International Neurosurgeons. He has won lots of international scientific awards in his field. Many parents in Iran make an example of him to their children to encourage them to be successful in their studies. He has a unique character that many Iranian people are proud of him. The next one is Maryam Mirzakhani. She was among the pioneers in mathematics. 
she was the first woman and to date the only woman who won the Fields Medal, which is considered the highest honor in mathematics. She had a shining path to reach this great achievement. Before getting a bachelor degree from the Sharif University of Technology in Tehran, which is among the most prestigious universities in Iran, she had won two gold medals in the International Mathematical Olympiads. She earned her PhD from Harvard University in the USA. Then she became a research fellow at Princeton University and then became a full professor at Stanford University. Unfortunately, Mariam passed away in 2017 from breast cancer at age 40. In respect of her memory, the International Council of Science has announced Mariam Mirzakhani's birthday, 12th May, as International Woman in Mathematics Day. The next one is Asghar Farhadi, a famous film director and screenwriter that is among a few directors who had won two Oscars for Best Foreign Language Film. You may know him by his Oscar-winning film, A Separation in 2012, and The Salesman, in 2016. He has won lots of other awards such as Cannes Film Festival, Academy Award, Golden Globe Award, and many other festival awards for his movies. Therefore, if you are interested in modern Iranian movies, I suggest you have a look at his productions. Here are also some of the references I have used for preparation of this presentation. You can refer to them to get more information about the famous people we got introduced. Very well, this was the third and the last part of my presentation about the introduction to Persia. Thank you very much for your consideration. In these films, I tried my best to not waste your time and briefly introduce you the history and background of Persia. If you have not watched the previous parts, I encourage you to watch them as well. Anyway. I know that these days you may hear good and bad news from that region. However, you should know that you cannot find all the truths from the media. They will tell you whatever they think is good for them and not essentially good for you or the people of that region. Therefore, do not trust them 100% and think critically. Anyway, if you found this video interesting, please like it. By subscribing our channel, you can also get informed about our latest videos as well. Please also provide your comments that we can improve our next products. Thank you again for your time and consideration. See you later. Bye.